So we look at Chelsea's potential starting 11 and maybe their bench as well in the first year under Mauricio Sarri. Chaka, what do you think of Chelsea's chances in the Premier League? Um, I'm still not convinced. And though this is a Chelsea team, for the most part, that won the league two years ago, I'm not convinced that you can win the league. Uh, I, I'm trying to convince myself that you can break into the top four with Alvaro Marata and Olivier Giroud as your two, star, as your two stra starting strikers, or one of the two, anyway. That, for me, is, is, can, will continue to be the biggest question mark. Can you get any kind of consistency out of Marata? And is Giroud the man to lead your line for 30-odd games? I'm not so sure. Is that the biggest concern at Chelsea, that top spot? No, not for me. I think defensively is the biggest problem. I think they've got plenty of weapons going forward. If, if Sarri can get Morata playing, then that's, that front three, Villian, Hazard and Morata at his best, that's a great front three. What do you think of that the 11? Is, the, with Batley in it? Yeah. No, thank you. I don't, think he will, <laughs> I don't think he'll be in it. Kovacic will definitely be in it if he comes. But the back line's a shambles for me. David Luiz in a back four, it's not him. Alonso in a back four is, is untested. He's a, he's a wing-back. He's a better wing-back than a full-back. So, question marks at the back. You've got a, a, a young goalkeeper with the, the weight of the, the price tag on his back mm. as well. Uh, the question marks are all defensively for me. Shaka, how worried would you be playing in front of that back line or behind it? It's, listen, listen it's, it's, it's not a great back line. But you, you have to, if you set this team up, as, as uh, Antonio Conte showed a couple of years ago, um, you can get them to, to, to do a job at, at, at the very least. You know, and, and yes, there are a lot of question marks and a lot of reason for concern around, around Chelsea, including defensively. But again, for the most part, this is the team that won the league two seasons ago. And I know that Manchester City and Liverpool uh, in particular are much better than they were two years ago. Um, and at the same time, I'm saying I still don't see Chelsea breaking to the top four, but they will be a whole lot better than we saw them last season. And let's keep in mind, but for a disastrous six or seven, the last six or seven games of the season, they very well may have finished fourth. A whole lot better. You think so? No. I don't, I, I don't see any change at all. I think there's more, there's more question marks today than there were at the end of the season. I mean, I, I just don't see how there's anything settled about Chelsea. Absolutely zero. The only thing that's settled is the, the manager. And what brings more confusion is we all know this guy wants to play open attack in football, which is why I say that back line is in trouble. Under Conte, he, he, he devised a system that hid the deficiencies of the back line. When you play open attack in football, you see exactly where your problems are or where your strengths are. And this back line is a problem.